Hey, JW's back at you, doing part two of the Abbott Loop, just here at the Overlook, and then we're going to take off on down the trail. This is supposed to be the two-mile mark here at the Overlook, so we got still got six miles to go for this second part. But get a good look at the Overlook. It's a beautiful Overlook, and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and start hiking. So we're just starting off going downhill right along the ridge getting a good view all the way down it seems like every time I want to make hot cocoa on the trail I forget something I'm pretty sure my stove doesn't have an automatic igniter on it if it does I don't know I apologize I didn't take the time to look because be honest with you, I was sweating. I wasn't really in the mood for a hot drink anyways. But the only disappointing part was I knew this was going to be a long hike, so I wanted to take its least amount of weight in my pack. So I, I did bring the extra water to make the cocoa and, of course, the weight of the stove, which isn't much. But other than that, I'm not really that mad about it. Uh, this is a gorgeous walk down if you get the view you got the trees in the way but this time of the year you can see down into the valley down below but I got a long ways to go so I don't want to take up too much film right now if I see some highlight spots I'll turn the camera back on Heading away from the ridge side now, the cliff side, heading back out in, more into the woods, into the pines here. Thought this section looked pretty cool. If you didn't catch the first part, my gimbal is dead, ran out of battery, so it's going to be shaky. Now look at the leaves, a little bit of a wind here. Finally got a da some downhill. It was all uphill up to the overlook. So it might get a little bit colder on the way back here. So I thought I'd just film a little bit of this pretty section here to walk a little bit smoother I'm trying to I feel a little bit rushed right now but let's take my time through here I like to make up time on the downhills Do a little 360 here and then uh, I'm going to start uh, semi dragging down this downhill. All right, see you in a bit. So, that whole pine section was all downhill, a little some flats, but all downhill. And I'd like to say that that was a break, but it wasn't because of all the roots. Like, there wasn't one comfortable step on the way down, <laughs> there was a lot of roots, but. Looks like we're coming up on a road down here. When I get down to the road, I'll uh, put you back on. So we made it to another logging road. It might be the same one as before. Then the trail just continues right on the other side of the road here. We do got some downhills. And it doesn't look as rooty here, so. Hopefully this section will be a little bit better. So this might be the first trail where I actually wish I was hiking uphill. Because the downhills on this trail are just awful. 
lots of stones and roots and mud which I guess is expected this time of year but the roots and the stones are pretty bad well, at least we got some stuff to shoot here some water I only got 30% battery left so I kind of I've never done this trail so I kind of got to guess what the highlights are going to be here this is pretty cool this is shot worthy here you get around the other side I got to cross over this thing so That's pretty cool the way it flows under the log there. Really pretty spot. All right, see you on the other side of the creek. So our first real waterfall. Just a little one, but still really nice okay hopefully the trail gets a little better up through here <laughs> so for beauty I'm giving this trail a 10 I didn't say that already for comfort, I'm giving it a 0.1. Not even going to give it a 1. Extremely muddy through that last section. And I mean extremely muddy. <laughs> Still got some mud up here. To get over. Still got the roots, as you can see. But it is really pretty. Nonetheless... I'm hoping on the other side of Charlie's Bridge is a refuge from all the mud. But we'll take a look at this waterfall as we go over. Beautiful little man-made waterfall. Alrighty, bridge is a little shaky, but it'll do. So this has been one of the easiest and one of the prettiest sections. I needed a break too. I'm just taking my time through here because it is nice. Not as many roots. I don't know, there is still roots. I stubbed my toe on one of them and it's starting to feel better already. So I'm not worried about it being broke or nothing. I'll take you along. Oh, sorry about my finger. I don't even have the uh, stand for it right now. Just got it in my hand. The camera, that is. I'll take you along to this log and then uh, put it back away because I'm trying to conserve battery here. All right, I'm going to hop over this log. And, but you can see the horizon here is very beautiful. So I made it back to the road here. This is the road that I parked on. And we got to go this way. There are blazes on the trees to let you know you got to go this way down the road. I don't know when it's going to turn back into the trail. But when I get there, I'll let you know. 
So there's a little bridge right there, a little culvert, and you do cross over it, and the trail starts up that way. Starts back again, I should say. Let's take a look. There's a beautiful shot through this culvert. The rapids. Again, just a beautiful little spot. Even love these little stones here. Seems like they're barely holding up. And just the sound of the creek. So I think I'm going to end part two right here with this beautiful little culvert in the background. Um, it's just getting way muddy and uh, I'm running out of battery. Just a combination of different things. So I'm going to take the road back. I do have that option. Um, if I see anything along the road, I'll certainly video it. But I'm going to end, for the most part, going to end this here. Thanks for coming along for part two. And now you got part three to look forward to. We'll finish the trail. Maybe... Uh, next summer when it gets the uh, gets a little less muddy out here <laughs> all right bye thanks well lo and behold a little waterfall alongside the road here beautiful either way i got a couple of miles hike back whether it's to the woods or the road so So this makes me feel a little bit better finding this waterfall here. All right, maybe this will be the end, maybe not. All right, so here we got the water flowing this way, right towards me. And then it's flowing to the side there. I thought that was pretty cool. Get the whole thing in there just because of the way the rocks are down below. Looks really weird. All right, maybe I'll see you some more.